Hello children, welcome to the Lucknow Public School online classes. Hope all of you are good and healthy. Before the assessment which we have given recently, we have completed four chapters in mathematics. The chapter number one, integers, the chapter number two, fractions and decimals, chapter number three, data handling, and the chapter number four, simple equation. Now I am here with a new chapter, the chapter number five, lines and angles. As you can see there, the chapter number Five lines and angles is made up of two words, lines and angles. In class six, you have learned various types of lines and angles, like intersecting lines, parallel lines, intersecting lines, when two lines cut each other at a point are called intersecting lines, parallel lines, when two lines do not intersect each other and they never meet however far they extend it are called parallel lines. Angles, acute angles which is greater than 0 degree and less than 90 degree. Right angle is the setting of 90 degree. Obtuse angle more than 90 degree and less than 180 degree. Straight angle is the setting 180 degree. Reflex angle more than 180 degree and less than 360 degree. Whole angle or complete angle is a setting 360 degree. Now we will learn about the related angles. Related angles. In related angles, the first type of angle is complementary angles. A pair of angles whose sum is 90 degree is called complementary angles. If we will take, we take one angle 30 degree and other angle 60 degree, their sum is 90 degree. It means they are complementary angles. And each angle And 
angles on a line, we can take more than two angles. We can take three, four, five angles on a line. Next is angles around a point. We know that when we will move around a point, we will get a circle. And a circle represents 360 degrees. If we will take various angles around a point, then their sum is always 360 degrees. Here we have, I have taken 4 angles, angle 1, 2, 3 and 4. The sum of all 4 angles is 360 degrees. Next is vertically opposite angles. In vertically opposite angles, we will get vertically opposite angles when two lines intersect each other. When two lines intersect each other, then on the point of intersection, we will get four angles. Angle 1, angle 2, angle 3 and angle 4. And here we will get Now next topic is angle pairs formed by parallel lines cut by a transversal. This is the most important topic of this chapter. You can just say this that this topic is soul of this chapter. We know now about the parallel lines. Here line N is parallel to line M and it is intersected by a third line T. This third line is called a transversal. T is intersecting line L and line M at different points. Here we are getting four angles and on line M at the point of intersection we are getting four angles. It means all over we are getting eight angles. If you will Because they are in the exterior. Angle 3, 4, 5, 6 are in the line, in the interior. They are called interior angles. It means in 8 angles, the 4 angles are interior angles. Angle 3, 4, 5, 6 are interior angles. And the rest 4 angles are exterior angles. Next is corresponding angles. In corresponding angles, we will select a pair of angles. One angle should be exterior and other angle should be interior. And one angle should be on the one line and the other angle should be on the other line. And both the angles should be on the same Alternate interior angles, the name of the angle. 
Okay, because select two pairs, two pair of interior angles which are alternate. Four and you have four interior angles. If you will take angle three, then its alternate interior angle is five. Angle four and angle six, they are forming two pair of alternate interior angles and they are equal. Angle three is equal to angle five and angle four. Thank you. Stay safe and stay healthy.